But let's get started, and uh, then I'll, I'll talk a little bit later on the second half. This band will start first. The next band will be the Wind Ensemble, and then, then we bring the entire advanced concert band. So enjoy the concert. Thank you so much for coming, and I'd like to introduce the concert band under the direction of Mr. Kevin Cardell. Thank you very much. That piece there was, <coughs> excuse me, was uh, from the movie The Bridge on the River Kwai, and that is the uh, River Kwai March. Our next piece is probably one of the harder pieces I've done in a long time. Um, the, this piece here is a traditional Bulgarian dance, and, and the dance is in 15. So, it's a normal dance, and then they drop one half a beat every single time. Um, it's taken them a long time to learn this. Um, so this is, this is Buchimis, and uh, hold on to your seats.
Thank you very much. We're going to skip the next one in your program because the two pieces that I've picked were, were so hard and we didn't have as much time to work on that, uh, the, the fourth one. Um, so we're going to save that one for the Pops concert. So you have to come back and see it because it's a really good piece. So we're going to move on to our next piece and our final piece. This is a Brian Balmagis uh, composition and it's entitled Arabian Dances.
Thank you. <clears throat> the, um, tomorrow morning we'll be leaving to uh, perform in uh, Washington, D.C. for the music festival up there in the com competition. This is the Win Ensemble. It's a select group that uh, auditions every single year. Um, so this year we got an opportunity to go out there, spend a few times out there, and I want to thank the uh, Abroctonians, Ken Feinberg, for, uh, it's good to have connections, for it, uh, setting up a VIP tour uh, for the kids to, uh, to see the Kennedy Center. The uh, difference between a regular tour and a VIP tour, the regular tour is 15 minutes for high school kids. This one here will be an hour and 15 minutes. We'll go into areas with not a lot of people. So we're really looking forward to see that magnificent uh, building and also compete. So that's the first number we're going to perform. The, I picked two selections. One's called the Huckleberry Finn Suite. The next, the, uh, um, actually, I got the wrong one, right? Wrong one. The first one we uh, would like to do is to uh, was a piece by the name of Fuego Español, Spanish Fire, obviously. And um, uh, this this piece actually I was I heard it by a mistake. I was li looking through YouTube and this piece started playing beautifully and how things happen sometimes. So this is a uh, wonderful piece that kids have really thought and enjoyed in, in, in a Spanish flavor. And try to pick two different verses of p uh, pieces to show the judges two different styles. So certainly Fuego Español, and then I'll explain a little bit about the Huckleberry Finn. So the Fuego Español.
You train them through two sets of ears, parents' ears and then judges' ears. There's two sets. So you all thought it was great, right? Uh, and it was. It's pretty close. But those judges, they love to just pick on you on, and so on. So uh, that's pretty, and it's a very exciting piece. So I hope you enjoy it. This other one here, totally different. Three movements. Do not clap after each movement. And it's based on Mark Twain's writing. Um, the first one's called A Lazy Town. And um, Jim is the second one, which is kind of a very slow, beautiful playing. Some it's solo playing, intricate sometimes. They're very quiet stuff. It's the most difficult part because they're so exposed. And it shows a judge some musicianship. Just pretend you're floating down the Mississippi River on a beautiful summer day. Just nothing to do. Maybe a fishing rod on, on the side. And the last one is called Huckleberry Finn's Ragtime. So two, three different movements, again, based by, uh, uh, from Tom Sawyer's uh, by... Um, the Italian name by Franco Cesarini did the arrangement. And speaking of Italians, I want to recognize the, the Italian club here, the Sons of Italy, for as, as part of the diversity. I, they would probably put a contract out of me if I didn't do this correctly. So <laughs> um, I want, as an Italian, I'm proud to have you guys. They, they, they're celebrating and meeting the diversity here this evening. So arrivederci.
I'm sure we're not missing anyone. But um, some of the things that we try to do, we've done for years, is do different things for our kids. This is a special place, special high school, special city. Um, I was raised here. I'm an immigrant here. Um, it's uh, interesting that we are doing a piece, uh, the, the sec third movement of that, the guidance to immigration, the immigrants to, that came to the city. Um, and worked, worked very hard, and the city gave us a great deal, and these kids are coming to this high school again, the best education in the whole world. And I'll, for instance, I'll give you an example here. People talk about, ah, Brockton High School, okay. Nicole, stand up. She never know what's going on. <laughs> well, you know, Brockton High School is an interesting place. You can do whatever you want. You can go to Harvard University right there. I'll get slaughtered for this after. Or you can just come to the high school and do nothing. Don't blame the school. Okay, same thing with the ensemble here, the other kids in the other place, they work hard. They go home and practice parents. I know parents have got used to this, that the kids don't practice anything, but they're still fantastic. I don't know how you become fantastic without leaving the instrument in a locker over the summer. I wish you could tell me that. That way, I, why I wasted all that time practicing the trumpet for four hours a day, I don't understand. I could have been fantastic with, and I could have left that in the cellar. Um, no, it's a lot of work. You take a look. That last piece we did, the possibility of the screw ups of thousands of notes. Think about it thousands of notes. The mistakes that one, two people make is a failure. So sometimes, sometimes people think they take music. Music is a very difficult art. It takes coordinations, concentration, hard work. There are no pills, no apps. As a matter of fact, the best thing you can do is, you know, I tell you every year, take that damn thing and throw it out the street. Yeah, you're, yeah well, you know. You choose. You choose to study, go to Harvard. You choose to sit on these things all day long, which is becoming a so on. Anyway, I'm getting off the track here. Actually, just trying to give him a little rest before we take on the next challenge. So anyway, so we tried to do some stuff here. And Amy Corum, which I need to give credit for arranging and doing this whole thing here, along with the Rory Club, my buddies. <laughs> I am a proud proud uh, honorary member of the Rotary Club, and uh, they have been so fantastic for all these years that um, 
that I've been a music educator. That club has been behind us many, many, many times. So when Amy said it's a conjunction with Aurora, and along we want to thank you, all the other people that donated money to make this happen. Thank you so much uh, uh, for doing this. So she came up to me, gave me an idea, and I said, wow, that's pretty good. It's the first time we've done this. We've never done this before and so on. So we started talking to Randy about five months ago, six months ago, and we tried to do it. We put it together. Um, he gave me his idea. We, we talked back and forth. As a matter of fact, the Globe was here today taking some videos. Uh, and so on in here, and I was sitting here at 205, still changing notes. Um, yes, um, so we've gone through many, many several versions. So uh, this is pretty exciting because he is, I'm just briefly just say a couple of things. There's a, uh, a, 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 the, um, his bio in there, but really that's not his bio, that's not even 10% of it. Uh, we couldn't fit at all, we'll be here till July 4th reading this thing. Um, so. Again, Randy is a multi-award winning composer, pianist, re record producer, music educator, and author, and we'll be here trying to read, um, I said, we're gonna sit here, try to read his bio, bio of accomplishment, we'll be here to July. I had that reading so I don't forget, but I'm ahead of myself. So, we're very excited to have Randy Klein here this evening to share his talent and vision as we perform and celebrate along with the community this commission work called Brockton. So he's gonna explain to you what he's trying to think a lot. This is not music that's right in your face, He's, both three movements, he's trying to say something. So I think if he tells you what he's thinking, what he's trying to do, I think you'll understand the piece so much, so much better. I know the kids are very excited. It's, it's challenging, and, uh, it was a, it, and it's a lot of fun. It's something they can, they, they can talk about. And uh, please, you have to remove the children. We already have them recorded. So if you please, I appreciate it. I know, but you know, it's... All, everything's going to that microphone, and we're trying to record. I, 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 I don't mean to, but like I said, we, we, no, okay. Um, anyway, please welcome Randy Klein. <laughs> Thank you. Well, um, it's really nice to be here. Um, I have a new friend uh, that, uh, a new friendship with a, a very nice lady from Brockton, Massachusetts. Her name is Amy Coram. She's, um, she was born and raised here. Uh, she's a very fine pianist. She's a very fine piano teacher. She's a member of the Rotary Club. She has more energy than any person I've ever met in my life, and I'm exhausted when I'm around her. Um, I'm exhausted when I'm thinking about her. Um, about a year ago, I had a piece that was performed at uh, the Metropolitan Opera House, which is like, really? Yeah, and, and it was performed by a, a 400 voice choir. Uh, the name of the choir is the Hazamir Choir and they performed a very large work called Fanfare for Jerusalem. About three days later, I got a Facebook message from Amy and she said, I, have, I had a dream about you. I went, really? <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't that kind of a dream, sorry. <laughs> uh, but I, I texted her and I said, well, let's talk about this dream. And her dream was to ask me to write a piece about Brockton. Now, I went to school in Boston. I was in Boston for nine years from 19, 1967 to 1976. Um, I had traveled up and down the Mass Pike more times than I care to remember. Uh, drove on 128 uh, with people tailgating me, so I kind of know how that works. And, um, it's, but I didn't know anything about Brockton, and in that phone call that I had with Amy that morning, she said, well, Brockton has this history. Uh, it's a history of going back to uh, when, when it was uh, the shoe capital of the world. I, who knew, you know? And, um, and then she uh, went forward and she said, and it had this, this, this fighter who fought here, who won the, uh, the world championship named Rocky Marciano. And um, 
there was another fighter named Marvin Hagler who won a championship. And then, then, she, then we start to talk about where, um, where Brockton is today and the communities that make it, make it up. And I start to take all this in. I'm listening and listening and listening. And I, I can't really write music about anything unless I n know the subject. But Amy, who has been here her whole life and loves this community so much, just was spewing it out in such a way that I said, I think it's a three movement piece. I think the first one is titled Shoe Town. The second one is titled, there's a piece of fuzz just flying there like by itself. It's like, um, City, City, of, City of Champions, and the third one, and the third movement is called A New Diversity. And the first piece that I wrote was the second movement, which is a City of Champions. And, ooh, that child is very unhappy. Hug that child. He'll, he'll feel better. Um, so um, the first piece, I, the second movement is the, the one I wrote first, and then I wrote the first movement, and then, no, 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 it didn't go that way. And then I wrote the third, no, no, I wrote the first movement, and then I wrote the third movement. So it was all out of order. And meanwhile, I was starting to get this feeling from con these continued conversations with Amy, and I did a lot of research. I went online and looked up Rock and read lots of material about the city. I was saying, this is an amazing place. This is an amazing place. So I got here on Monday, the snowstorm. Remember Monday morning, the snowstorm? I took the Amtrak up. It was very beautiful. It was winter wonderland. And in the afternoon, the snow was gone. And, by, and we, we had our first rehearsal. I got to meet all of these wonderful musicians, uh, which has been a real honor for me to uh, hear them on this new work, and it's a new work, so I haven't really heard it either. I mean, I've heard it in my head, but I haven't really felt it. It's a work in progress. Work, work in progress means that it takes on a life of its own, and it's growing, and it's slowly, ta it, 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 it takes on a form. This is the first performance of it. We are honored to play it. Uh, the first piece is title shoot, the first movement, and we'll stop in between movements, unlike the last piece where we didn't, um, is, is titled Shoe Town, and it's about the immigrants who made this, the strength of this community and built it and is the structure for where this is today. So the first piece is titled Shoe Town, and go forth, maestro.
Wow, that was, that was great, guys. That was really great. Well, that's what I heard in my head. <laughs> well, you do hear it in your head. It's just imagined. Um, then you have to figure out where all the notes go. That's the hard part. So uh, back in October, this piece wasn't written. And um, oh, so, but, and I called up uh, Vinny and uh, we, and I sent him the second movement, which is the one you're going to hear right now, which is called um, uh, City of Champions. And because I wrote City of Champions first, we have to talk a little music here. I wrote City of Champions first, and I wrote it in the key of C. It starts in C, and then I wrote the, the third movement, and then I wrote the first movement, and I inadvertently wrote the first movement, that movement that you just heard, in the key of C, which meant that the last chord that you heard was a C chord, and it, the first chord of the next piece, City of Champions, was a C chord, and when I heard a demonstration of this, I went, oh my goodness, what? We made the decision to modulate the entire piece up by one step, this isn't very difficult to do unless you have a computer program that doesn't work very well, which is what we had. And so I sent a, a score to Vinny that had incredible amount of wrong notes. And they were wrong as of this morning. I mean, we're still trying to figure out what this program did in, in, in its transposition of uh, going up the step. And I think we, I think we figured it out but if you hear a wrong note, it's, it's, it's on me. It's just, it's, it's like, it's com you know, it's computer stuff and we'll, we'll figure it out. So this piece is titled City of Champions. City of Champions is what Brockton is about. It's not just about one fighter or two fighters. It's about um, the people who, who get up every day out of this community and do what they do and make this community thrive. And they're the real champions, the families, the parents the people who make this possible to have art, music. Oh my God, are you kidding? That's what this is about. Um, and, and in my uh, couple of days here, I've started to uh, really appreciate that, even though I w did have to go hug the Rocky statue. <laughs> and there are pictures of me online and doing that, but you know. It's part of the gig. <laughs> anyway, City of Champions.
still have to go over that score somewhere. Yes. So I use this. Can yeah, I know. I know. I use this music program for notation. It's called Finale. It's a very complicated program, but it's great because I play a note and it appears on the computer screen. It's really nice, you know. Wait a minute, I have to do something here. I know this is totally, at, I need to just take a quick selfie here. Uh, uh, you know. uh, 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 okay, everybody look over here, come on. Thank you, thank you. You know, memories is all, that's what it's all about. So, um, but, you know, <laughs> um, the, ne the next, you know, I brought these notes, I typed them all out, I haven't read one thing from them because they're all, it's better, it's better I just talk about the music, you know. So, on, was it Tuesday morning, or maybe, it, yeah, it was Tuesday morning, I was very, uh, no, you know, it was Mon Monday, I had heard this movement, play, the, the third movement, which is titled A New Diversity, and I heard the band play it, and it just wasn't what I imagined at all, and I was like, I, I, and I was thinking about it, and I said, well, how do I, how do I describe it? And a new diversity is about everyone who lives here, everyone who comes from everywhere, and it's it's evident by just looking at the stage. I mean, look at the look at the kids on the stage, the youth on the stage, and. They're from everywhere. They're from Brockton, but their 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 heritage go the heritage goes back all all over the world, and that's what a diversity that's what diversity is, and this is a new diversity. And I was trying to find a uh, melodic theme for it, and I couldn't. I was trying to figure out a way into this movement. I was having problems, and then I started to realize that w what connects us all is really a beat. Uh, the idea that there's a rhythm, and I developed a rhythm, and I said, "Well, how do you, how do I how do I write that?" And and then I came here on Tuesday for the rehearsal, and I explained to everybody that this is this is a rhythm, and it and 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 this piece, unlike other pieces that have a theme and a repeated theme and another repeated theme and variations, it's just tension, built tension. And from that uh, is, is what holds everything together, that, that tension that, that we feel every day. And then that wasn't enough, so I decided to put a really happy melody on top of it because happiness is good, you know? Um, so this is a piece titled A New Diversity, uh, the third movement of uh, Brockton, and um, thank you. Thank you. 
Yeah, thank you, Vinny. Let's hear it for them. They're great. Thank you. Thank you. Um, this, uh, I, we can't describe something like this, having something written by someone like him, Randy, and then do it and listen it. And uh, I can feel the way it does sometimes. We have composed, uh, Mr. Cardell and some of the other members of the, of the, the uh, staff that are here to return to, to, to here. When we write something and then the kids play it, and it it's really such a, new, a reward that's absolutely uh, unbelievable. So again, um, we want to thank uh, Randy for sharing this with us. And of course, Amy and everyone else, I do want to admit. But the, today, so uh, sometimes, you know, uh, one of my things I, I tell the students all the time, uh, nothing is free, and a little something goes a long way to compliment somebody. So somebody must have heard me some way down the line. Uh, and so Alicia didn't know this, but did you do this? OK. We just want to read this. Randy, it's for you, Beth. Dear Mr. Klein, we'd like to graciously thank you for allowing us to experience something so enthralling and exciting. Without your time and dedication, we would not have been able to get a chance to read a piece of music that encompasses our city and our home. Your programmatic and emotion-filled writing has offered us innumerable and abundant learning opportunities, with each and every one of us has appreciated greatly. We have seen and learned many new things, and we've experienced new concepts. You took simple things such as powerful upbeats 
to slow and regal rhythms and presented them to us in a way that was new and unfamiliar to most of us. Compound time signatures and complex key signatures gave us plenty of rich learning material and paved the pathway to better playing for us. During the past few days, we have grown to know you more and your powerful presence, passion, and energy is captivating and definitely infectious. The composition and execution of the three movements was well planned and exhibited true craftsmanship. It also showcased exactly how much work you had put into this piece. <laughs> Your energy while observing us was multitudinous and we were able to clearly tell exactly how invested you were in these movements and we greatly appreciated it. It revealed who you truly are and how you operate as well as how passionate you are when it comes to music. The Brockton High School Advanced Concert Band thanks you greatly for giving us your time, energy, and complete and utter dedication. The amount of work, of work it takes to compose a piece for a band our size is immense and most likely overwhelming. We enjoyed bringing this piece together and having the opportunity to meet someone as skilled, kind, and passionate as you are. It's been our utmost pleasure having this amazing opportunity to make music with you. Warmly, the Brockton High School Advanced Concert Band. <laughs> have a lot to say and I don't right now. You can no, I'm all set. But but I w I do want to I do want to thank some people and I do have a list for that because my aging memory doesn't allow me to remember names anymore. Um, so, oh, I'd like to thank Vincent Macrina. <laughs> this this guy is I, I don't know how he's done this for, well, you were here before Noah, right? Yeah, I built the ark. You built the ark, right. I, I remember that. I helped build it. Yeah, that was your joke earlier today. Yes, it was my joke. <laughs> and um, and he, he and I like spent 8 o'clock in the morning on the phone going, like, bar 121, are you sure you want that now? Um, he's been so wonderful to rehearse this, and, and there have been snowstorms that have canceled how many rehearsals? What, eight? About a week. About a week, week's worth of rehearsals. And uh, th that last movement is complicated. That's a very complicated movement to play it, to understand the musical values of it. It's up there in terms of musical knowledge. And these musicians do this. They get it. And when I can talk to musicians on musical level and speak to them that way, it makes my day. It's great. So thank you, thank you, Vinny. And uh, in in the office, uh, Cheryl Schuller, who continued to uh, secretary. the secretary, who kept on the uh, boss, the boss. Who the boss of this, who kept keeps it all together. Um, Brockton Rotary, of course, who they have been amazing, and they honored me with this wonderful 100th anniversary honor, uh, honorary pin last night, which was. Um, really a wonderful experience. Of course, to Amy for dreaming big, which she does. And uh, to all of you for listening, thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Not bad. So we'd like to uh, close, uh, and he's right about the snow. We lost close to five days of rehearsals and then half a days and this and that. But um, we had a little meeting one day and said, this has got to come out there and it's got to happen. So we all bottled down, they did a great job. This is a little different than what uh, I certainly they used to. So now speaking of composers, um, we've heard a lot of great music. And um, one of them I, we were talking about one time with the kids, we talked about some of the players of today, some of the writers and so on. And this particular person, a young lady said to me, I said, well, I think so-and-so is a genius. Now, for all you Prince fan, um, don't get up, upset on me. I said, yeah, well, you know, that music is okay, but not a lot of other people. Um, oh, let's do that now.
One more wait. Sorry, we, we forgot. Nick, the president of the Rory, you're here. Come on up, sorry. A lot of things are going on tonight. Nothing, nothing, nothing against my pals at the Rotary. Thank you, I'm sorry. It's okay, it's okay. Good evening, everyone. Thank you for attending tonight's performance. Absolutely fantastic. My name is Nick McCummings. I am the current president of the Brockton Rotary Club. In celebration of our 100th birthday, we've had the great pleasure in collaborating with Mr. Macrina and the Brockton High School Advanced Concert Band by asking Randy Klein to compose the original spe music specifically to honor the city of Brockton. And you've all heard it, it's fantastic. Uh, unfortunately, Mayor Bill Carpenter couldn't be here tonight, he's unable to attend. His chief of staff, Darren Duarte, is here and will present a citation to Randy Klein from the city of Brockton. Thank you, Nick. Hey, I may need your help though to present this, okay? okay. Stay up here, sure. Good evening, folks. Wasn't Oh, first of all, aren't these children wonderful? Give them another big hand. I just want to say, watching Vinny um, tonight, I had a quick memory of, I met him when I was 14 years old. We had a lot of my friends, and I know, I know, we look a lot different now. 14 years old, but I will say, he had those, my friends, and continues to do this now, people who are in the band, uh, now practice in law, practice in medicine, engineering, some stayed in fine arts, and I want to believe, and I do believe and I know, that they, they learned that discipline, part of that discipline, aside from their families here, striving for excellence in Vinnie McCrina's musical program. So Vinnie, we thank you from 40 years ago to today, you're still doing it, we appreciate that. On another note, um, again, we, we're so thrilled that the Rotary uh, has invited Randy Klein to be here to write that uh, incredible piece for our city. Um, he's a man who s writes music that speaks to your heart and soul, whether it's civil rights, whether it's um, just strictly entertaining. He's done a whole host of work, like Vinny said. Uh, we could go on forever with his bio, so we won't do that. So I'm here to present him with an official citation from the mayor's office. I'm gonna ask Nick to help me present this, and I'm just gonna read it. The official citation, be it known that the mayor of Brockton hereby extends his appreciation to Randy Klein in recognition of composing an original music piece capturing the essence of Brockton. Your three movement musical piece entitled Brockton captures the pulse of the city of champions from our history in the shoe industry to our success in athletics to our celebration of diversity this anthem will be cherished forever. Therefore, it gives me great pleasure to present this citation to you, Randy Klein, as a symbol of our appreciation. This citation is duly signed by the mayor of the city of Brockton on this day, the fourth day of April, 2018, Bill Carpenter, mayor. Let's have you in the middle, right here. Oh. Okay, right here, fine. Yeah, yeah. You wanna hold it, Randy? Oh, sure. Yeah. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you again. Thank you again. Thank you. Deja vu all over again. Huh? Yeah. Oh, how cool. We're right on time. People say, where'd you get the white hair? Well, you know it now, right? Um, what was I? We were talking about geniuses. Anyway, so I like to joke around with the kids sometimes. Oh, yeah, but you know, you start. Now, there are geniuses and there are geniuses. I know we all think our sons and daughters and granddaughters are all geniuses, correct. But then you gotta face the facts that there are geniuses out there, like some of the stuff they write, not really. And then there's Leonard Bernstein. <laughs> That's a genius. And we all know, yeah, yeah he's, he's not up there, you know. <laughs> Today, this year, he would have been 100 years old. This year, he would have celebrated his 100th birthday. And if you follow his music, he's written from probably the greatest musical to symphonies to unbelievable work 
um, shows and his music lives forever. So we'd like to close our program and pay tribute to this incredible uh, American mu musician, composer, and uh, just genius. I will leave it at that, okay, with a big, big letter. So here's little selections from the West Side Story.
Thank you. Thank you. We had a lot going tonight, I know. Hope you uh, enjoyed it once again. Make sure that we recognize the concert band, Mr. Cardell, and the concert band. Okay. All the uh, staff members are here, new and past up there that can support us. Thank you so much for supporting the program. Hey. <laughs> It's like they go to the movies and talk to the screen, okay? <laughs> or, um, anyway. <laughs> it's crazy. Uh, parents of this, tomorrow morning, you can't be late. You'll be chasing a bus down Route 24, okay? 7.30. Peruti, where are you? <laughs> Peruti, you ought to be here, 4 a.m. <laughs> yeah, you'll be late. <laughs> Once again, don't forget the upcoming stuff, the jazz, uh, the Pops concert, the jazz concert. Pops concert, you guys are going to love it. They're going to do some, some really, uh, uh, some really Chuck Mangione and stuff and so on. We got a lot of things happening, including the chorus and the show is coming up. So support, there's a lot of other things going on. Thank you to the Rory, to my Italian friends here, yeah, and, and everybody else. Thank you. Appreciate it.